Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, so today we're going to be building Pac-Man. Um, so to start, I have this Google Drive link. I'm going to be posting it in uh, the description of the YouTube video. Um, but if you're watching it from anywhere else, you can just copy it, uh, type it into your URL. We're just going to paste it in here. Um, and this is going to contain all the assets that we're going to need for this project. Um, so it's going to be sprites and audio. So just make sure that you download all of the sprites and all of the audio files. Now you can go find them yourself, but if you find them on Google by typing in like Pac-Man sprites, um, they might be different width and height than the ones that I have right here. So some things might turn out a little bit differently. So I recommend just downloading this if uh, you're able to find it easy enough. So if you don't already have Unity installed, I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to install Unity. That's not going to be part of this video though, um, and I will also paste a link to that in the description. Um, the version of Unity isn't super specific, just make sure you have the newest one downloaded using uh, Unity Hub. Um, this is going to be for Windows, you can do this on Mac, but ideally you have a Windows machine as some things are different on Mac, and uh, we won't be covering that here. But now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So um, I have a tutorial already built, um, which I'm going to be referencing on my monitor to the side. So if you see me looking over, that's why. Uh, but I'm going to be building it, rebuilding the whole thing from scratch to try and help you guys learn this as efficiently as possible. Uh, we're going to be using C Sharp as a language. You can use JavaScript, uh, but I would not recommend doing that unless you really know what you're doing. So I'm going to click New. And we're going to wait for this to load. Um, you can just call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Pac-Man Tutorial. I can't call it Pac-Man because the first project that I created was called Pac-Man. Uh, we're going to want to set this to 2D and we're going to click Create. Also, uh, you're going to need Visual Studio installed. Um, most of the time this comes packaged with Unity though, so that should be fine. Now we're just going to wait for our Unity instance to load up. Okay, so it looks like everything loaded up just fine. Um, First thing we're going to do is take this project folder and we're going to bring it down to the bottom. That's going to give us a bit more room up here. This is going to be where our game runs. And we are going to move this over a little bit to give us some extra room. Um, now we want to create some folders. It's really important that in a project like this we keep everything um, very neat and tidy. So we're going to create a folder called sprites. We're going to create another folder called audio. And we're going to create another folder called scripts. And then we're going to create another folder called animations. Awesome. So what I want you to do next is drop all of the files uh, from here into that Unity folder. So, um, we should be able to right click and click download. Once the download is complete, just go to your downloads folder. Make sure to right click and click extract files and then click OK. And then open up the folder. Now here you can hit uh, control A to highlight everything and then control C to copy and now if we go back to unity we can go into our sprites folder and hit control V to paste or actually um, it might not let us copy and paste the files like that so what we can do is highlight them all and then drag them in okay so that seems to be working just fine we're going to go back to our Pac-Man assets, right-click audio, and we're going to download and do the exact same thing, whoops, but in our audio folder. Okay, so we have our sprites. Let's go back into our audio and control A to copy or highlight everything and then drag everything in. Okay, so once we have this, we now have basically everything we need in order to start working on our project. So the first thing that we're going to do is go up to our sample scene 
And a scene is basically just like a level in a game. Um, however, when we beat the level in this, we're going to be reusing the same scene because it's basically um, each level is basically the same with slightly different values. So you don't need to worry about creating a new scene. We're going to create an empty game object. And we're going to call this background. Then we want to select inspector. So this now is going to be our backgrounds information and everything that we can add to it. Um, so the transform is the background's position. However, because our background doesn't have anything yet, changing its position won't look like it's doing anything. Um, so we're going to add component and we're going to type in sprite renderer and then you can hit enter and make sure it's sprite renderer and not sprite shape renderer. Okay, so this is going to add this component um, that we can use onto this game object. So every single thing that we add, whether it's like a script or an audio file or anything, is just going to be a component. So now we're going to go back to our sprites folder. And we have our map. Oh, I have two of them right here. Let's see, which one was I using? I think one of them actually we don't need. Okay, so you don't need this Pac-Man sprites one. You can delete that if you want. We're going to be using this map. So we're going to drag that uh, sprite into our sprite section in our component. And then you're going to see our map. So we're going to change our um, resolution to free aspect for now. And then we're going to increase the scale to about... 1.4 on the y-axis, 1.4 on the x-axis, and this is just going to make uh, the background big enough so that we have a bunch of room. You're going to notice this ugly blue color. That's not actually a problem because we can go to our main camera, select background, and then just change it to black. And then we'll be able to cut the sides off later, but for now we're just going to leave it as it is.